Can you all see my screen? Yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. Nice one. Nice one. Um. So let's get started. I want to use this opportunity to welcome you to the data analysis webinar. And in this webinar, we are going to talk about what the future holds, embracing data analysis as your career choice. Right? Why should you go into data analysis? Why? 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 Why can't I just go and learn graphic design or web design? Well, like other people's, right? Why should I focus on data analysis? First and foremost, before you can actually see this ad, you must you must have probably click on something that is related to data analysis, probably on Excel or Power BI or SQL, anything. Probably you like, you comment, you share. That's why you are here, right? They said they have a lot of echo. Is that correct? Do I have any echo? Can you all hear me clearly? Is, is there any echo? Is there any echo in my background? Is there any echo in my background? Okay, I'm clear. So probably it's the person's network, not mine. So clearly, oh guys, all right, all right. So no echo. Nice one. Thank you all. So like I said, why should you actually go into data analysis? That is what we are going to talk about today. But it won't make sense for me at all to just go straight without introducing myself. As you can see me, let me remove my cap to greet my people, right? It's it's very, very compulsory for me to actually remove my cap, to bow down to our prince and princess, queen, my mother, my father in today's webinar. Welcome everybody. So this is me so that you can see my face very well, but you can see that right here, I'm still looking a little bit, um, fresh right don't mind me this is still me so if you if you are looking at this picture and doesn't resemble me just look at my bs i think it's much now but don't worry it's still me it's still me i just don't know why i love using this picture i can't remember the year that i snapped this picture and i'm still using it now so my name is sunny akim abiodun right i'm a computer instructor a digital marketer a data analyst data scientist I can't, I can't mention everything. <laughs> I can't mention everything. I'm into a whole lot of stuff. So I'm a computer instructor and also a digital marketer, but I train data analysis, data science, um, digital marketing, um, web design with content management system. I do that. And cybersecurity, I'm into that also. But I work with Digital World Tech Academy and Digital World Tech Academy offer a whole lot of other courses. So at Digital World Tech Academy, we've been able to train more than 5,000 students, both online and offline. We train people and organization on Microsoft Office packages, right? Different thing, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, G Suite, um, Publisher, Microsoft Access, anything you want to learn in Microsoft Office packages, we are here for you. Data analysis, digital marketing, um, web design and web development, cybersecurity, anything that you want to learn in tech, we are here to guide you. If soon, if you are going into blockchain, Web3, app development, we are here for you. Right? And in 2023, that was last year. Wow, it's not so long. We were able to train over 3,000 students online and um, more than five, oh, over 3,000 students physically and more than 5,000 students online and various organizations. We've actually done quite a lot this year. So that's that. So let me introduce... Uh, the digital world to you, like you can see in my face cap. Um, if you are looking for me in this picture, I think this is me right here. So if you can't see me clearly, uh, if you can't see me clearly, just look at my teeth. I think I'm the one that opened my teeth the most here. Every other people did not open. They said they should do shoes, but they did not open their teeth. So I think this person that opened his teeth very well, this is me right here and my team member. But we are in, we are a lot more than this. Other people are afraid of snapping pictures. I don't know. So, but um, these are some of my team members right here. And about the institute, Digital World is an online and physical learning platform with the aim of making the tech skill affordable and accessible to everyone. Everyone. And our mission is to make computer education very accessible and affordable to Nigerian and Africa in general. Here today, we have Ghanaians and we have Kenyans. We have a whole lot of people from other countries too that I refuse to mention, right? Someone is saying there is no network. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. So let's just get started. Um, let's let's move forward. Let's move forward. So a glimpse into the future of a data analyst, right? A, a glimpse into the future of a data analysis. 
So as we all know, data is no longer just a byproduct of our digital life. It is the fuel powering innovation, decision making, and competitive, competitive advantage across industry. As we all know, data is the life of every business. Without data, no organization will be able to make a progressive decision, right? Before any organization can make any decision, right, they need to check out your data. As, um, they need to look at your data. Just like the same way if you want to buy something, the very first thing you check is your bank account, right? The very first thing you check is your bank account. So before you can buy anything, the very first thing is your, is your bank account. The same goes with companies. Before any organization can make any decision, they need to check at their, they need to look at their data first before they can make any progressive decision. Before they make any progressive decision, they want to know if there are companies that are producing something. They want to know which of their products is performing very well. Which location is their product performing very well? Right? When I started running adverts, I used to target the whole of Nigeria and the whole of Ghana, right? And the whole of Kenya. But currently, I've niched down, I've been able to niche down. I've been able to niche down because I know the aspect, the area of uh, where my ad is performing very well. And this has helped me to reduce the cost of my adverts, right? So it, I don't, they don't charge me as high as, I, as they used to because I used to target the whole of the country before, right? Now I niche down to a particular location where my adverts are performing very well. That is the power of data, right? If, if a company is producing, let's say they are producing a pen or they have like five products, all those five products will not perform very well in, this, in a location. So it might be two that is performing very well in Nigeria. One might be performing very well in Ghana. Then the other two might be performing very well in Kenya, right? They need to know. So if they are sending the all five to Kenya and Kenya only needs, needs two, that is like a waste of money in distribution, in advertisement, in marketing and everything. They are wasting a, a whole lot of money because those other three products are not going to perform very well. Do you get, that is the power of data before any data can make before any company can make any progressive decision they look at their data and currently now data is life data is part of everything that we do if if you want to go online you go you do a google search about something you read a comment about about a product that comment that you read is a data because someone actually put it there so it's it also help you to make decision you go online, you go to Facebook, Instagram. Okay, let me even ask, how many of us has been to Facebook today? If you probably, okay, don't let me say it's Facebook. Any social media platform. Have you been to any social media platform today? I know, don't lie, yo. I know a lot of people are going to lie. We all go to, we all go through social media almost every day. How many of us? Probably Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere. Which one, which one, which one, no? Ladies and TikTok guys and facebook which one right we'll do that debate later the person that love using tiktok or facebook right mm -hmm. are we good are we good are we good mm -hmm. okay facebook and tiktok facebook instagram right all right several now going to facebook or instagram or tiktok alone you are giving them a data the moment you log in the moment you log in, they start taking data about you, right? Clicking on like, you give them a data about you. Give Clicking on comment, you give them a data about you. Just commenting on something, you are giving them a data about you. How do you think I get to meet you? So I did not have any information about you, but how do, how do you think Facebook knows that, okay, this person is actually interested in this thing? Probably if you like something that is related to what I am doing. Right, that's how Facebook. Okay, this person has liked something that's that has to do with data analysis in the past, then is in this category. Without that, without the data, there is no way any organization can make a progressive decision. And the future of data analysis promises to be a remarkable one. In as much as this social media and all these other platforms is alive, data is spreading everywhere. And uh, I said, driven by the emerging trend that technology that are redefining the way 
we interact because currently we are in connected economy. We share data. If you are in Kenya, you want to send me anything on my WhatsApp, probably a data or you want to give me a project. The last time I got the project and the person just sent me the data on WhatsApp, I collected, I did my, I did every other thing. I sent it back to the person and I collect my money. I did not even leave my house. I was able to do everything. Now, sharing all those things is a data. All those things that are doing is a data. And data analysis is not going anywhere anytime soon. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. The transformative power of data analysis. The transformative power of data analysis. So let's move forward. Now, data evolution. How do we get to become someone? Um, how do we get to become someone that is like the top two in the whole world? Currently, data analysis is the top two uh, skill that you can need wherever you are in the whole world. Wherever you are is the second most important skill you need to have. Is the second based on IBM ranking and Bureau of Labor Statistics, right? That is the whole world is the number two most important skill based on BLS. Right? Data analysis has come a very long way. What they always come, call us is, before, around 2010, 2007, they used to call us data entry specialists. Because all we just do is, we enter some data, then we send it to them. That's all we do. Right? But now, we've moved from traditional reporting to advanced predictive and prescriptive analysis. I was training my students on machine learning today, and we see, we, we, we have various ways that we can use the old data to predict the future, right? We are writing different machine learning language today, and we are using it to, we are using the old data, we call it the historical data, we are using it to predict the future. So we call all those things predictive analysis, right? Predictive analysis is when you use the old data to predict the future. Do you guys, that is why we are becoming better and better and better because of all these tools that are available for us to use, right? Like I said, yeah, data analysis has come a very long way from traditional reporting to advanced predictive and prescriptive analysis, becoming an integral part of decision making. Now, we can use all data to predict a um, number of sales for a company. We can use the old data to predict that, okay, if there is this man, if there is this disease this time around, based on the past data, it's possible for this disease to come up, right? We can use it to predict. How do you think they do weather forecast? How do you think they do all those things? It's the work of an analyst. It's the work of an analyst. Now, we do predictive analysis. Then there's another thing called prescriptive analysis. What do we call prescriptive analysis? Now, I predicted to you that, okay, you are, let's say you are producing something. And I use my machine learning algorithm, let's say linear regression. I use it to predict that, okay, by next year, right, by, by this time next year, you are going to sell uh, 2 million of your product to a particular country. Now, the machine has predicted it for you. Now, we have something called prescriptive analysis. Prescriptive analysis is basically talking about the actionable step. I'm not going to say, okay, because machine has predicted to me that, okay, by next year, I will sell 2 million of my products. Then I will not fold my arms. If I fold my arms, will I be able to make any sales? Let's just say, okay, machine predicted that, okay, by next year, I'm going to sell 2 million of my products. And I said, oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, machine. And I fold my arms. Do you think I'll be able to make any sales? Yes, no, no, yes. Hello, are you there? So machine predicted to me that I'm going to sell, no, right? I'm going to sell 2 million of my products and I just fold my arms, do nothing. So predictive analysis is one step. There's, there's another one called prescriptive analysis. Prescriptive analysis is basically talking about the actionable step that can help me to achieve what machine has actually predicted to me. Right? So if this machine predicts that, okay, by next year, you are going to sell this 2 million, 2 million. So we have prescriptive. What are the actionable steps before I can make that sales? Right? Before I can make that sales. So probably I need to work on my marketing. 
on my branding, on my um, distribution, that is logistics and everything. Now, you can see that it has become an integral part of modern decision making. So let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Now, there's something called data explosion. There's something called data explosion. Now, data is uh, data explosion is basically the rate at which data is growing, right? The rate at which data is growing. So basically, data is growing at an unprecedented rate. It's not something that machine can easily predict the rate that at which data is growing, because it is driven by the connected devices and digital interaction, making effective data analysis more crucial than ever. Now, because you remember, that I said we are in connected economy. Right, everything you can do almost everything on the internet. You can get access to any information on the internet. And mind you, all the information that you are getting access to, they are data. So if you go to Google now to browse something, everything that you see are data. They are data. So it does not necessarily have to deal with sales or necessarily have to do with um marketing or anything. So every information that you see are data is being uploaded by someone. And currently, we are part of those people that are making data grow at an unprecedented rate. How do we come in here? That would be your question that me, if I don't have any organization, that I don't have any business, how am I making data grow at an unprecedented rate? Well, let me tell you, that like button that you just clicked or that you clicked on earlier is a data. You just give Facebook or Instagram or TikTok a data that's okay, you love this thing. You comment on something, you give them a data. Now, as you are doing it, they are putting you in a category. If you notice, if you either go to Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, you like a particular video, they will recommend similar video to you. They will keep on recommend similar video. And if you keep on scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through all those videos, you are watching them. By the, the next time you are going in for that thing, the, the very first video that they will show you will be related to the last one that you watched, right? And now if they want to show, they are using all those things to put you in a category because of a, an advertiser, because that is where they make their own money. So if you now go there, they want to run advert, like me like, an, me like this as an advertiser. So if I go to Facebook or YouTube, that's Mr. YouTube or Mr. Facebook, I want to run an advert to these people, right? I want to run an advert to these people. So because they've put you in a category, they have your data. Now, you might be someone that love Excel and they know, okay, data analysis use Excel. Data analysts use Excel, rather, right? So if I'm running advert on Excel, they know that, okay, I have this category of people that I can send it to. So you see how we are contributing to the rate at which data is growing, right? We are contributing it by just commenting, share, or, or like, right? We are giving them the data. And currently, there are over 2 billion data that have been uploaded on daily basis. 2 billion data have been uploaded on daily basis because of the digital interaction. As we are now, we are giving Zoom a data. We are giving them a data because they have all your information as you are on this call. And if they want to do anything, you probably will see their ad. There is no way they can make this. Now, they start giving me coupon because we use Zoom almost every day. Data was using almost every day. So they give us coupon. How did they get to know that we use Zoom on daily basis? Because they have our data. How did they get to know that, okay, these are the people that are, that, that, that are qualified to get a coupon code? Because they have the data, they know how we use Zoom like on daily basis. Do you get? That is what we call data explosion. So if you have a question, someone is telling me not, cl not clear on prescriptive analysis, jot it down in a jota. Just put it in a jota. Once we get to the question and answer section, I'm going to answer all your questions. So the evolving role of, are you all here? Are you, get, are you getting it? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Yes, yes, yes. Are we enjoying this? Are we enjoying this? Are we getting any info? Are you getting any information? Are you are bored? Do you need me to power down your head? Um, all right. 
Okay, okay, okay. We've not said anything, no. We are still in the theory. We are still in the theory aspect. So let's go to the, let's, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Now, we should pour water. Oh, yeah, bring your head. I'm going to pour water on your head. I'm going, I'm coming. Peter, I'm coming to your house after my webinar. I'll come and pour water on your head. Holy water. <laughs> All right. So let's move forward. The evolving role of a data analyst. Now, unlocking the power of data is a complex task. It's not so easy because, uh, let me show you an example. If I have, let's just open one data set here. Let's just open one data set. We have quite a whole lot of them. So uh, if I come here, if I come here and I just, this is an Excel spreadsheet. This is an Excel spreadsheet. So this is a data set. This is a raw data. Is there anybody that can tell me the best selling country? This is a country, right? This is the country column. May I looking at it like this? Is it possible for you to tell me the best selling country? It's not. It's not possible. It's not possible because we have quite a whole lot of countries here, right? We have quite a whole lot of countries. Okay. Okay, let's say because we have a whole lot of countries here. But all about gender, we only have two genders, male and female. Is it possible for you to tell me the gender that's performing very well? It's not. It's not possible. Because, because um, looking at a raw data does not really make any sense. Raw data does not really make any sense. It is the work of an analyst to bring out reports from the from the data that you have, right? From the data that you have. And right here, you can see I have the best product by profit. That is the best product that generates the highest profit, the best product with the highest quantity, the best selling country, right? The best customer. I can get all this one for you within we are going to analyze data together today. Like you can see this one, this is the top 10 best selling country, right? This is the, the, the customer and their quantity, right? We can get all this information. It's only an analyst that can bring out all this information, right? It's only an analyst that can bring out all those information. Like I have here, unlocking the power of data is a complex task. And data analysts are the superhero who make it happen. But beat you are like a superhero. How many of us believe that you are, you, are, you are an analyst here? If you believe, I love I love people that believe in themselves. So if you believe that you are an analyst, just have that I am an analyst. All right, we have just one. Bank Is she the only one? Okay, we have Lion Dilly. All right, all right, all right. I have right. Sure, nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Okay. All right, Engineer Felix. All right, now you are you are the superhero that bring out information from a raw data. With technology advancing that fast uh, faster than a speeding bullet, the role of data analyst is also evolving at a lightning speed. Gone are those days of simply collecting and organizing data. Be before what they always call us is data um, data entry specialist. That is what they call us. We just collect data, organize it, and boom, we send it to them. Did you get? That's what they call us. But today's data analysts are responsible for designing complex algorithms. Like I was teaching my students today, you can write a complex algorithm that can help you to predict a whole lot of information, right? And creating captivating visualization. We are going to create visualization together in today's class. Right, the data analyst future scope is bright and a thrilling opportunity for those who love technology. In as much as you love technology and you love analytics, then you are in the right place. You are in the right place. So let's move forward to the next one. Another question here is: Are data analysts in demand? That is going to be a very big question that I'm not going to be the one to answer. So I'm going to introduce my new friend. That's going to help us to answer this question. How many of you would like to see my friend? How many of you would like to see my friend? I have a friend that we introduced to you. You are going to love him. How many of you would like to see my friend? You, like, you want to see my friend, Abby? Okay. Let me tell you the name of my friend. My friend is, let me use this opportunity 
to welcome Mr. Don't be disappointed, though. Mr. Gugu. So <laughs> don't be disappointed, I told you. This is my friend. Mr. Gugu is my friend and is the person that will help me to answer that question. So <laughs> are you disappointed at me? Don't be disappointed, though, please. Mr. Gugu is my friend. Don't worry very soon. He will become your friend, too. Mm -hmm. He will become your friend. So, Mr. Gugu, let's ask Mr. Gugu uh, this question. If, the, only, the, the, the only reason why I chose Mr. Gugu as my friend is because he will never complain. So, even if I ask Mr. Gugu, what is my name? He will answer. So, he's my friend. <laughs> you are laughing. Mr. Gugu is my friend. You should make him your friend, too. So, he will never complain. Even if you ask Mr. Gugu, I don't have money, he will give you a quote, like a motivational quote that can, that can boost you up. Right? That is right. You should also make Mr. Gugu your best friend. So let's ask him this question. Uh, data analyst in demand. You see, already it has bring it out for me. I don't even need to stress. This is a good friend. So I press enter. And here, now, data analysts are in high demand. And the World Economic Forum listed it as what? As number two in the growing jobs in United States alone just in United States alone. So let's read some of these things. So he said his data analyst at a high demand job. So I said, and Mr. Google is asking you, answering the question. Yes, data analysts are currently in high demand. As organization increasingly rely on data-driven decision-making. The need for the skill, for skilled data analysts to interpret and convert complex data into actionable insights is growing. So thank you. I me to appreciate my friend. He's going back now, though we are still come back to my friend. But thank you, Mr. Gugu. So for that wonderful answer. So now before I answer my own, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Godwin. Thank you for appreciating my friend. So now let me answer the question. Since Mr. Gugu has given us a clue, so let me just build on what Mr. Gugu has given us. <laughs> Thank you too. Don't worry, he's laughing. He's right beside me. Don't worry. He's going to say hi to you very soon. So, are data analysts in demand? Right? So, data analysts are in high demand in today's job market. And this trend is expected to continue well into the future. Right? According to United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of data analysts and other related occupations is projected to grow by 33% from 2020 to 2030. Within 10 years, within 10 years, data analysis is expected to grow by 33%, which is more faster than average of all other occupations. Right? It is for, for, for a skill to grow from zero, like we are, we are just a random um, data entry specialist. But for us to grow in 33% rates within just 10 years, and you all can see right now that data analysis has even grown more than 33% from just 2020 to 2024, right? It is much more faster than average of all other occupations. And the demand for data analysis can be attributed to the increasing importance of decision-making in businesses and organizations of all sides. As a result, Data analysts are playing an essential role in shaping the strategic direction across various industries, from healthcare to finance to retail and different, different ways. Another report by IBM estimated by 2025, there will be over 2.7 million job postings for data analysts and data scientists in the United States alone, right? Just in US alone. And we have we did not talk about Nigeria, there is Ghana there, there is Kenya, there is other countries, right? There are a lot of other countries. Jo this is just US alone. Now, what if you now check the whole world? Do you know how many job postings you are going to have if you, are, if you actually want to work with it? And if you want to be someone like me, I don't, I don't go to office, I don't work with organizations, like, I just train, but I get my projects. I work on projects every single time, right? Every single time I work on projects and I get my money. So you can also be, be someone like me, right? So um, another thing, 
why is data analysis the future of everything? Now, it is the future, it is the process of data analysis, right? It is the, it is the process of analyzing data that has revolutionized many industries and will continue to do so. So, magnetization are just wasting money on something that they don't need to waste money on. They, they, they don't, they, they are like selling five products, right? They are selling a whole lot of products and they don't know the ones that are performing very well. So they are just wasting money. They don't know the location where the, their products are performing very well. It's just a waste of money, right? It's just a waste of money. They are running adverts. They are running adverts. They are, they are just selling the product that people don't actually need. How will they get to know, right? How will they get to know? How will they get to know? It's only an analyst that can help them to do that. Now, the days of having to do all your analysis by hand are over. We have a whole lot of software that make it easy and faster. And even, you don't even need PhD in statistics anymore. Simply enter some data, pick out what matters the most, and you are done with an excellent report. Using or processing such information give you power over all sector, allowing for major changes across all societal areas. As we all know, data is the lifeblood of any modern business. But in its raw form, it does not mean anything. Looking at just the raw data does not really mean anything. So let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Um, the future of data analysis, before we go into practical section, let me just read this. Let me just read through this. The future of data analysis is here and is now, and is looking very bright. With the help of AI, which is artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, machine learning, we have different, we have a whole lot of machine learning algorithms that we use in prediction and blockchain are all driven innovation that has revolutionized the field of data analysis. So with AI powered data analysis, business can get real time insights into their operation while machine learning can help us detect fraud, identify pattern. Yeah, it, it can help us to identify pattern. We use unsupervised learning to identify pattern, right? That would be impossible for human to detect. And with the help of blockchain, data sharing can be secured because no organization wants their data to leak out. Do you guess? They want the organization to be the, the, the data to be secure, right? So let's see. Career path for data analyst. So um, the very first advice I always give to people that are in data analysis is, um, as a data analyst, you need to go into data science, right? After you are done with data analysis, after you are done with data analysis, go into data science. That is one career that you can focus on. You can go into project management. That is another career. You can go into, uh, you can become a, 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 a business analyst. That is another career. You can niche down to become a financial analyst. That is another career, right? You can even own a data analyst consultancy uh, firm, right? That is another thing. All you are just doing is you are getting projects, right? You are doing, um, you are consulting firm and the likes, right? You, you can become a marketing analyst. You can become a sales analyst. There are all lots that you can niche down to. But if you, are, if you want to be someone like me, I analyze any type of data. If it's in as much as data, we work we work on it. Do you get? So well done. Thank you very much for this theory section. Do we learn something in this theory section? Do we learn something in this theory section? Yes, no. Are you guys sleeping? Are you still here? Are you still here? Are you still here? All right. Now we are going into the practical section. I mean, I was ready for the practical section. Are you ready for the practical section? If you are ready, just say, I am ready. I am ready, I am ready, I am ready. If you are ready, just say, I am ready. Very ready, sir. Okay, I am ready, I am ready. All right, all right. You sure that you are ready, right? Now, let's go and analyze data. Let's go and analyze data. I hope you have just it down. If you have a question, please just it down, just it down, just it down. Let's go and analyze data. Let's go and analyze data. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go there. Let's go there. So, we have our data that we are going to analyze. You. So, for me, um, the first rule of data analysis, as a data analyst, 
the first rule that bind you is don't share your company's data to anybody. That is the very first rule. Or your client's data. Just jot that down. I just need you to know that. You don't share your client's data. Probably you get the project to work on. You don't share it with anybody. It's your personal data. So it's the person trusts you. That's why they give you the data. So it's not something for you to share. That is the very first rule. You can be prosecuted for that if you share it out. Right? They can arrest you. Please, as, a, as an analyst, the first rule is what? Confidentiality is very, very important. I don't know about you remember this. The first rule is what? The first rule is what? Before we start analyzing data. The first rule is what? The first rule is what? The first rule is what? As an analyst, your first rule, confidentiality. Your data is very, very confidential. You don't share it with others. You don't share it with others. Are we clear on that? All right. But mind you, I'm going to share my own data with you. <laughs> I'm going to share my own data with you because as, as a trainer, we have different way of getting our own dummy data. We call it dummy data, right? That we used to train, right? That we used to train. So it's just like a, a clone of original data, of a real life data, but it's just a clone, like a copy of it. But um, there are some changes made to it. They've done a whole lot of changes to it. So it's not original data. It's not the original data of a company. Do you get so it's just like a dummy data. That is what we used to train. So it's not. it doesn't really make sense for me to use any company's data to train students. No, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. So this data now is just a dummy data that I downloaded. We have different websites that we can download all this dummy data from, like Kagu, Google data set. You can download different type of data that you can use to practice, right? They are open source data. You can use it to practice. You can do a whole lot of stuff. So this data now is basically a crash data and we are going to visualize it. So I have a dashboard template that I'm going to use here. And um, what we call a dashboard? Let's go to my friend again. Let me introduce my friend to you. I don't need to introduce my friend to you. Again, let me, let's just go and ask um, our friend, our friend, Mr. Google. And uh, what is that question that I want to ask? I want to ask him um, data, analysis dashboard let's see dashboard all right we have a dashboard here let's go to images okay these are some images that we have right here and you can see an example of a dashboard you can see like an example of a dashboard a dashboard is basically a visualization that talks about the general overview of your data do you get a dashboard is just like um, a visual visualization that talks about the general overview of your data. Now, your dashboard must be very, very simple because as an analyst, you are not there to complicate issue for people that don't have knowledge, right? So your job there is to simplify it, is to make it very easy for people to understand. Do you get it now? So let's build something like this. Now, all these data are built on a dashboard template. We have a template. So that's why... I have my own template too. I have my own template too. So let me show you how to create a dashboard template. Let me show you how to create a dashboard template, right? Let me just move this down a bit. So I'm just going to, this is an Excel spreadsheet. Let me open a new sheet here. And for those of us that are new, totally, totally new, this is an Excel spreadsheet. And in Excel spreadsheet, we have the columns, right? We have the rows. I've not done anything in the price curve. This is actually the very first price curve I want to do. We've not done anything, right? So um, these are the rows. We have the columns, right? Columns is identified by um, alphabetical letters, while we have the numerical ones as um, rows, right? But if you check my dashboard template, you see I don't have a grid line here. What do we call a grid line? A grid line are this line that display here. These are the grid line, right? So we want to clear out this grid line. So I don't need you to work with me as I'm working right now. I want you to see it. I want you to see us. I want to like show you a real life scenario of when I'm analyzing data. 
right? While analyzing data. So I want you to also just have the knowledge to see the way we analyze our data. We are going to do it together. I'm going to be asking you questions, then we'll be answering it and we'll be playing around with things. Do you get? But you don't need to work as I'm doing it because if you are doing it the way I'm doing it, you might end up not getting anything. So just watch what I'm doing, right? And um, at the end of the program, we are going to still do a whole lot of other things. Do you guess? So now what I want to do right here is to remove this grid line. Now this grid line, we don't need it. So if I click on view tab, this view up here, I'll click on it. I'll turn off my grid line. I don't need the grid line. I'll turn off my headings. I don't need the headings. But I want my formula bar to be active because there are times that I might want to write one or two formulas in Excel, right? So I will turn it, I will leave the formula uh, uh, formula bar active. So now let me take that again. You turn off your, let me turn them on. You be supposed to be on home tab. So if you go to the view tab, you turn off your grid line and you turn off your edit. Do you get it now? Can you share your screen? Ah, uh, can you all see my screen? All right, all right. I believe everybody can share, can see my screen, right? I believe everybody can see my screen. All right, network problem, sorry for that. It's not from my own end. All right, so let's move forward. So what I want to do is to first of all, draw our template. So I'm not going to draw the old template. I'll just give you an idea of how to draw it. Then you can practicalize with it. Jig it is very, very simple to draw a template. So the very first template that we are going to draw is um, a template is made up of a shapes and icons. That's what's made up a template. A template is made up of shapes and icons. So we want to draw this header shape, like this one. This one, this is a shape. So let's go here. If I come to where I have shape, I'll pick a top rounded rectangle. I'll just draw it like this. So, just draw it out. You can see I have that. I have this one right here. I'm not drawing a big one because this is just a practical, this is just like a, we are just playing around with it, right? So, we have a contextual tab that display whenever I draw the shape. A contextual tab is a tab that comes out whenever we pick a special ribbon. Just like the same way I chose shapes now. You can see I have shape format. And this shape format, I can have the shape fill that I can use. I can choose different colors, right? I have the shape outline. I have the outline color, right? That I can use for the outline color. Outline is basically the color outside the shape. All this black color that you can see right here. They are what we call the outline. Then you have the shape effect where you have the presets, right? You have the shadow. You have the reflection, you have the glow, you have the soft edge, you have the bevel, and you have 3D rotation that you can play around with. All these things are just a way of playing around with it. So um, the next one, let's draw another big shape. I'm just, you see, I have a short thing here that can give me a shape, another big rectangular shape. So me and Excel usually fight on this one, but I hope today my friend, Excel is also my friend, I hope we will not fight today. I'll just draw it and leave it here. And for my shape view, I'll just come to shape view and reduce the color to something light. So something very, very light. Uh, now, we always have that issue of not aligning. So all you just have to do here is basic. This is like the hardest parts. So once you get these shapes out of your way, every other thing is play. We just need it to play. So the very first thing that you must do is, you must know is that uh, uh, you have to love what you, you, you are into, right? It must be something that you don't get bored of. Whenever I'm analyzing data, I don't get bored. Whenever I'm training data analysis, I don't get bored. I can train it, we play around, play, play around a whole lot of things, right? So you have to love what you do. You have to love what you do. So you just play around with it. You play around very, very much. You just play around with a whole lot of things. We play. In my class, you see, whenever I'm in my, whenever I'm in class like this, we play, whether online or physical, we just play. We play. That is how we learn. Life is not too serious. If you take it serious, you won't gain anything. Eh? Play, enjoy, dance and do stuff. Though I don't really know how to dance, but uh, maybe you can teach me. One person here can teach me, but 
just play, play. Just you don't have to take it very, very serious. You is not so. It's not like that. Don't be serious. Don't be too serious. Like too, too serious. You get the gist. Don't tell anybody that I inform you that I told you. Do you get that gist? I did that for you. Don't worry. At the end of this, let me finish. I'm going to dance. You want to see me dancing, Abi? I'm going to dance. I'm going to dance. It's new. You want to see me dancing? I'm going to dance. Let's finish. All right, you get the gist, Abi. That's that. So the next thing is, we want to draw this rounded edge rectangle. So let's just draw it out. A rounded edge rectangle. So if I come here, I want to pick my shape again. And I'll say I need a rounded edge rectangle. So just draw it here. Oh, too big. All right. I'll take it up a bit. And um, it's just a changing of colors and colors and colors. So Ctrl D to duplicate. That one will be here. Right? Ctrl D to duplicate. 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 So I play around with this duplicate very well. Ctrl D. I just keep on pressing Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. And here we have five. So five is okay. For KPIs, we call them key performance indicator, the key metrics. They show the key information, like the total transaction, the best selling customer, right? Um, the best product, like that. They are what they be called the KPIs, the key performance indicator, right? So that is what we are going to put up here. And you can just change their color one, just use different, different colors to just beautify it. Like me, that I'm not good with color, so I play around with color very, very well because I know I'm not good with it. So as an analyst, you don't even need to be good with colors because anybody that you are working with can give you the colors, right? Can give you the color they want you to use. And most of the time, organization has, they, they have branding. So they have the color. So you have to work with the organization color. So you don't have to treat, like, stress yourself on working on color or stuff like that. You don't have to do all that. So um, let's just add um, some colors there again. Um, are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying yourself, guys? Are you enjoying this? This is what I do every day, like every single day, and I'm I'm used to it. Are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys enjoying it? All right. We've not started editing, you know. We've not started analyzing, you know. This is just draw, drawing the templates that we are going to work on, right? This is just drawing the templates we are going to work on. All right. All right, so after that, um, I think there is a shadow, so we just add the shadow and the likes. So I'll just come here. Key performance indicator, key performance indicator. So you can just decide to add a shadow, like just within the shadow. I think the outline is white. So you just play around with it. The outline is white. You just add your shadow, you see, right? All these things actually makes more sense. So I'll draw another bigger rectangle where, where my chart is going to be. So I will change it to white. I think it's a white, right? And I will remove the shape outline to no outline. I think I'll just give it a shadow. I'll just give it a shadow and boom. Yes, you can see how I was able to come up with this template. So this is what I'm going to work with today. This is what I'm going to work with today. So now that we have that, now let's start working with our data set. Let's start working with our data set. So this is a data set that... Um, Involve accidents. This is an accident data set. Don't tell anybody that I showed you this data, but I downloaded it on Kagu. So don't go and report to Kagu that I'm showing you their data. <laughs> but no, this is just a dummy data. It's not any organization's data. Right? So I'm just playing. All right? So whenever I'm analyzing data like this, I, I always play a lot. I play. Whether it's physical, if you come to my physical class, we play. If you come to my online class, we play. Right? I always play. We play, 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 play. And uh, now, so um, let's put the very first thing that I always do is I put my data in a table. What is a table? We are not doing any data cleaning today because data cleaning is another process. But let's just see the way we analyze data on a normal day, right? So we put our data in a table, right? Putting your data in a table, how do we put it in a table? What is the essence of a table, right? A table is what shows relationship between your data. It tells you it tell like that all your data are related. That is what a table does. So what we'll do is we go to insert, then I have table right here. So if I click on table, all I just have to do is, my table has an header, I just click on okay, then now, I have another contextual tab called table design, called table design. So, I just leave it like that. Table design, we just um, 
It's just us to design our table more. And if you see this different design that you can use. Um, but I, 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 I've been using table for quite a lot now. And I just love using this one, the, the default one. So I don't stress myself on working around with colors. All right. So now let's start analyzing data. We've tell like so all our table. You missed that. Okay, let me retake it. So to put our data in the table, if you go to insert, you have table right here. So you can click on this table on insert. Or we have a keyboard shortcode, control T for table. T for table. Just put control. Control T, you put your data in the table. So control T. Then I press enter. So after that, what I will do here is I want to summarize this. I want to get summary. So I'll click on summarize the pivot table. We want to use a pivot table. A pivot table is a powerful tool that we use to summarize and analyze our data. It's a powerful tool that we use to summarize and what? Analyze our data. So if you are learning Excel and you don't know pivot table, you don't know anything yet. You need to really learn Excel. You need to learn pivot table. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this summarize with pivot table. So I'll click on summarize the pivot table. And I need it on a new worksheet. I just click on OK. Boom. Here we have our pivot table. And it's supposed to actually summarize, but it does not summarize. So we are going to summarize it ourselves. All right. Let's answer our, let's see our first analysis. All right. We have day week. Let's start with that. I always love starting with day week. I, love, I always love starting my days with on Monday. Now, um, which day of the week do you think accidents occur the most? Which day of the week do you think accidents occur the most? Which day of the week? Which day of the week do you think accidents occur the most? Which day of the week do you think accidents occur the most? Let's talk, let's talk. Is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Which day of the week? Do Friday, Friday. Okay. We have Monday. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue, let's continue. Monday, Friday. So it's just like a battle between Monday, Friday. So Saturday now coming into the play. All right. So let's see the answer. Let's see the answer with our table. So we just have three days, Monday, Friday, Saturday. So let's see the one that will win. Let's see the one that will win. Um, this is my pivot table, right? What I'll just do here is my day week column, I will drag it and drop it in the row. And that will list out all the days out here for me. Take my day weeks again, drag and drop it in the value, and boom. So here now, what I will do is I will right click, sort from the largest to the smallest. So click on it, and right now, big day of the week, yeah. Based on the result that we got here, which day of the week uh, accident occurs the most? Which day, which day, which day? Which day of the week? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. So who are the winners there? Saturday, Saturday. For people that mention Saturday, who are the winners? Who are the winners? Who are the winners? Who are the winners here? All right? So you got it right, right? Nice one. Nice one. So Saturday, actually, based on this data, accident occurs the most on Saturday, based on this data, based on this data. So now, what we do is, let's just put this in a chart. So how they come up with all those dashboards? So I'll just click on pivot charts, and I'll just use any chart given to me like that. Uh, I love using 3D charts. I'll just use 3D charts. And after that, I'll just click on OK. And that will give me a chart. Right here, I have my chart. So what I'll just do is, I will cut it using Control. X. I will cut it using Control X. I will use Control X to cut. So if I go to my dashboard, I come here. I will paste it right here, and I have my first chart on the dashboard. I have my first chart on the dashboard right here. I have my first chart on the dashboard. So what I'll do is, if I just go to Format, I want to remove my shape outline to no outline. Ooh, isn't this beautiful? Can you see it? Are we getting it? Now we are becoming an analyst, right? We are becoming an analyst. Is that not true? Are we not becoming an analyst? Are we not becoming an analyst? Eh, we are becoming an analyst, right? Yes, no, no, yes. You see, we just did our first analysis. It's not too hard, right? 
It's not rad. See it. We've designed our first dashboard. We've designed our first dashboard. All right. So let's get another question. Let's get another thing. Is this making sense? Is this making sense now? Is this making sense now? Yes, no, no, yes. Are we still getting it? My people, are you still here with me? All right. The table you don't understand, just sit down. Just sit down. We are going to the question and answer right now. All right. All right. All right. So now let's answer the next question. Which gender do you think gets involved in the accident the most? Which gender? Is it male or female? Which gender do you think gets involved in an accident the most? Is it male or female? Which gender? Male, male, male. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Everybody is going for me. I think it's high time for me to change my gender to female. I don't want to get involved in an accident. Though. I think it's high time for me to change. Engineer Felix is the only one that said it's female. What do we do for you? What? What? And I believe that almost all these people that are saying male, 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 most of them are going to be female. What is our what is what is our offense? Eh? You guys should pity us now. Now man, do man. Well done. I will change my gender. Before you know, I will become the second Bob Risky. Don't worry. I will change my gender to female. So you will suggest a name for me later. But let's get let's get this. Right? So let's get our gender, right? So what we'll do is, we want to summarize the game with pivots. Let's go to our table design. We will click on summarize with pivots. And because I have, um, I have, um, I have uh, existing worksheets, I'll just use existing worksheets and I'll go to where I have my pivot table and I say, okay, I just need the report here. Right, so I'll just click on, okay. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do here is I will take my gender again. I will, uh, you will report me to Bob. All right, no problem. What I'll do here is I'll take my gender, drop it in the row. We have male and female. Who is unspecified? Who is unspecified and blank? We don't need it. So let's just move them out. I'll remove, remove them. I'll click on OK. Those are what we're supposed to have done in our data cleaning. But uh, because we do not do data cleaning, um, we'll just see it here. We can do your data cleaning at any point. So what I'll do here is I'll drag the gender and drop it here again. And um, what I will do, right click, search <laughs> from the largest to the smallest. All right. I don't know yet. I will look for the name. As you can see, male is like times two of female. Can you see it? Male is like times two of female, which says that male gets involved more in an accident, right, based on this data. So let's visualize it. Let's go to our pivot chart. What I will do here is I want to use the pie chart, and I love using this one, but there's another one called donut chart. We have donut chart here. That looks like donuts, like yummy, something you can eat. But I will, use, I will go for this 3D pie chart. I love it. I love that 3D pie chart. So what I'll do is I'll just click on OK, and I have my 3D pie chart. So what I'll do is I will cut this out, Control X to cut, right? I'll go to my dashboard, and I'll just paste it right here. And here we are. We have our second chart on our dashboard. We have our second chart on our dashboard, right? So what I'll do is I'll just go to my format, then shape outline, and I'll say no outline. And here we are. Do you get this now? We have our second data. We have our second visual on our visualization board. It's just that we do not do anything about KPI. We talk about KPI in another class. Not today, because of our timing. Should we go to the question and answer section, or we should do one more? If you want one more, just say one more. If you want one more, just say one more. Or we should go to the question and answer section. One more, uh, right. One more, one more. Okay, so we should do one more, right? I think I have a new girlfriend today, Itunu. I don't know if you are a male or female. I don't know. But I'll come back to you later. Maybe you'll become my new girlfriend. Itunu, I'm coming back to you. One more, right? All right. For my female. Ah, well, you see, a new girlfriend. 
You see, I have a new girlfriend now. For all my webinar, I always get girlfriend. Now I have thousands of girlfriends, but you are the only one. It's you know, don't don't tell, I did not I did not mention anything. You are the only one, the love of my life. It's you new know, now. Everybody help me to appreciate it. You know. Well done. I have a new babe now. All right. So let's answer. <laughs> they will break my head soon. <laughs> is it your head? It's not, it's, it's my head. It's not your head now. It's my head. Let them break it. If it is for you to know, I'm fine. Don't worry. Let them break it. All right. So let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Thank you very much. So we have the road user, right? <laughs> we have the road user. Which of the I'm not married. I'm not married. It's a lie. Don't lie. I'm not married. You don't know me. Okay, but road user. Which of the road user do you think gets involved in an accident the most? Which of the road user do you think gets involved in an accident the most? Is it motorcycle rider, pedestrian, passenger, or driver? There are four. Pedestrian, motorcycle rider, passenger, or driver. Which one do you think gets motorcycle? Okay, we have motorcycle. One person says motorcycle. What about others? What about others? What about others? What about others? Let's answer. Motorcycle rider. Okay, just motorcycle rider. I think everybody is going for motorcycle rider. We are all going for motorcycle rider. Okay, we have one driver, one person that is going for driver. All right, all right. So now let's see the result. We have one pedestrian. Nobody is going for passenger. So let's, it's new, you are going for a driver, no problem. I hope you are going to win. But if you did not win, don't worry, I will tweak it. We have our way. Don't worry, because you are the love of my life, I will make you win. All right. So let's see the answer now. So I will go to my table design, right? Summarize with pivot. And I want to use existing worksheets. So I'll come here. I'll just, let me just put it down here. We will protest. I'll just click on this. So let's see our road user, our road user column. I take the road user from here, drag it down to this place, and I'll take the road user and from here, drag it down to this place. So what I'll do here is I will right click, sort from the largest to the smallest, and right here, you know, I love you so much. You see, road user, we have the driver first. Followed by passenger, followed by pedestrian, and followed by motorcycle rider. Followed by motorcycle rider, which means the driver. For all of you that are going for motorcycle rider, you did not mean it's my baby that won, right? So we have the driver, right? So we state here that the driver gets involved in an accident the most. But before we visualize, let me quickly show you. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Let me quickly show you one trick. So if I want to get all the reports on this driver, just this driver alone, the pivot table is kind of very, very easy. All I just have to do is just double click. This will create a new report that contains only the driver. Only the driver. This is the report on driver accident alone. This is the report. Just double click and you get all your results for the driver. So if you want the one for motorcycle rider, just come to motorcycle rider here and double click on it. If you double click on it, it's going to give you the answer. So now let's visualize this. So if I go to my pivot analyze, pivot charts, and let's use a bar chart for this. I'll just click on okay. Um, let me just click on okay. So what I will do here is I will cut this, go to my dashboard which is here, and I'll just paste it right here. Do you see this now? I can, all I just have to do is do a big, a small rearrangement, and we are done. We are done with an excellent report. We are done with an excellent report. I know a whole lot of people will be feeling like this. Like, wow, like, how many of you are feeling like this man now? How many of you are feeling like this man? How many of you are feeling like, wow, Akim, I've done a whole lot. I need to blow off my head, right? You are feeling like, wow, I've done a whole lot. I need to blow off my head, right? Um, We've actually done a whole lot within this small amount of time. And we all know how to analyze data. 
But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. How many of us would like to become a pro at this? How many of us would like to become a pro at this? How many of us would like to become a pro? You are not a bad data analyst. <laughs> How many of us would like to become a pro at this? Now, let me tell you something. Data analysis is not something we can learn within in just one class. It's not something we can learn in one class. It is a whole lot of work, right? What I've just shown you today is an advanced part, right? We still have some basic things. We still have a whole lot of formulas to cover. It's not even only as girls that we can use to analyze. The same information that we got, it's going to be so, so easier to also do it with Power BI. We can get the same information with Power BI. We can get the same information with SQL. We can get the same information with Python. We can get the same information with a whole lot of stuff, right? There are all lots. So if you want to become a part of this, right? If you want to become a pro at this, I have come up with a 12 weeks masterclass for you, which we call the data, the ultimate data analysis masterclass. The ultimate data analysis masterclass, which is a 12 weeks masterclass every Friday and Saturday, every Friday and Saturday, right? And in this masterclass, what are the things that are going to learn? You are going to learn from the basics of Excel. That is the total basics, the total basics of Excel from basic to advanced Excel. Even if you don't have any knowledge on Excel at all, you are going to learn from total basics of Excel to advanced Excel. Then after that, you are going to learn over 50 Microsoft Excel formula. Over 50 Microsoft Excel formula, right? You are going to learn Microsoft Excel table and pivot table. You are going to learn that. You are going to learn charts, how to work with charts. You are going to learn that. You are going to learn that. We did not even do anything on slicer and timeline. Today, you are going to learn how to work with slicer and timeline in Excel. You are going to learn um, data manipulation. You are going to learn that, right? You are going to learn data cleaning. You are going to learn data cleaning with Power Query. You are going to learn data cleaning with Power Query. You are going to learn data modeling. You are going to learn M language also with Power Query. You are going to learn data modeling with Power BI. You are going to learn that. We call it data analysis expression with Power BI. In this 12 weeks class, you are going to learn data visualization, how to create a database. You are going to learn data visualization both on Excel and on Power BI. You are going to learn database creation with MySQL. You are going to learn um, how to query database with MySQL. And if you are so lucky, you are going to get a bonus on Python Essential. How to, you, are, you are going to get access to all my classes on Python Essential. You are going to get access to portfolio creation, how to create your portfolio and how to optimize your LinkedIn account starting from this Friday. If I'm to charge you for this product, for learn, for this course, so teaching Excel alone, I charge for 5,000, just Excel, basic to advanced Excel. Data cleaning with Power Query. Let's say you know Excel, you want to come and learn. Data cleaning with Power Query. I'll charge it at 5,000. If I'm charging, if I'm teaching you data modeling alone, data modeling is not something that is really hard, but I'll charge you 25,000, right? If you are learning, Power BI, just data visualization aspect of Power BI, I'll charge you 15,000. If you are learning that, I'll charge you 15,000, right? And you also get access. If you want to buy all my recorded video on Digital World LMS, I'll charge you 35,000 for that. And if you want to go live with me, just one-on-one -on -one class, I charge 150,000 for one on one class, but a batch like three, four, five people, I charge 45,000. I can give you my handout for free. Weekly data analysis tips, you are going to get that. You are going to be in class with other experts. You are going to get certification at the end of, of the program. You are going to get entry job placements and internships, and you are going to get the opportunity to work with us. But I'm not charging you all this amount. Some of them, they tell me, say, I know we don't go to Pekin, right? Because I want you to join this program starting this Friday, starting this Friday, 
we have Thursday, Friday. How much am I going to charge you? For Nigerians, for Nigerians, it's just 15,000 Naira if you are in Nigeria. And if you are in Ghana, if you are in Ghana, it's just 150 Ghana cities. For Kenyans, it's just 2,000 Kenyan chillings. It's just 2,000 Kenyan chillings. And for the very first 50 people, for the very first 50 people, I said you are going to get a bonus on Python Essential, right? Monetization of skill, you are going to get access to that. Full Microsoft Word course and full PowerPoint course. So this class is a live class that comes up every Friday and Saturday. 8 to 10 Nigerian time, 7 to 9 Ghanaian time, and I think it's 10 to like 11.30 um, Kenya time, right? So that's that. Every Friday and Saturday. It's a live class. But also, you are going to get access to all our recorded videos. In case you even miss a class, you are going to get access to the replay of that your particular class that you missed. So if you are in Nigeria and you want to make payment, you want to be part of this very first 50 people to make payment to join this class, you can pay into Money Points, Digital World Tech Academy. This is the account number. If you are in Ghana, you pay into Border Cash, just 150 Ghana cities. If you are in Ghana, and if you are in, um, if you are in Kenya, you pay into M Pesa. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but every single time, the time you you guys are going to correct me. But um, so this is the account number for uh Kenya. It's just two thousand Kenya shillings for Nigerian. It's just fifteen thousand naira for Ghanaian. It's just one hundred and fifty Ghana cities, and you um. Uh, if you are in Kenya, it's just 2,000 Kenya shillings. So um, that's that about that. Let me take a question. The days of the class will not help some of us. It's every Friday and Saturday, 8 to 10 Nigerian time, 10, uh, 7 to 9 Ghanaian time. You can drop your payment proof. But let me show you the LMS. So once you drop your payment proof and you send um, our, our admin to confirm your payment, you are going to fill a registration form. Once you fill a registration form, you will get um, an email that looks like this. Digital World Tech uh, Receipt for Data Analysis. Receipt for Data Analysis in your mail. So that you have to put correct mail there. So just click on it. Then you have your receipts. You have your receipts right here. So all you just have to do is click on this study data analysis, right? Now you will log in. Let me copy this information. I'll just log in right now. And I will log in to show you all what you are going to get. So I'll log in. So if you log in to the students, I have shown you my, my cost is zero. Oh, why? Um, why did I have zero cost? Yeah, I think there's a mistake. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't have any cost. Yeah, wow. But you, once you, once you, once you get that, let me redo that. I think I entered the wrong password. Uh, continue. Uh, coming. All right, let me log in again. I don't know why it's showing me zero cost here, but for your own, you are going to have one cost right there. You are going to have one cost right there. Then you just click on it. It's going to print out. It's going to give out all the curriculums, all the curriculum for you. It's going to show you everything, right? It's going to show you everything. Then you can start going through the recorded video in case you miss class, in case you miss class. So you can drop your payment proof in the group, it's just 15,000 for Nigerian and 150 CDs for Ghanaians and 2,000 for the Kenya. So let me start taking questions. If you have a question for the very first 50 people, for the very first 50 people, you are going to get access to all Python Essential recorded video. All my recorded video on Python Essential, you are going to get it. Monetization of skill, you are going to get access to it. 
full Microsoft Word course, you are going to get access to it. Full PowerPoint course, you are going to get access to it. What is the duration for the program? The program is for 12 good weeks. That is three months. 12 good weeks, that is three months. Let me start taking your question now. Let me start taking your question. Let me take your question. Your question is, in Nigeria, Tilumbu policy is dealing with us. Kindly do it for us for 10K. Ah, Mr. Najim, I don't know. I have, uh, <laughs> we are all in need together. We are all in need together. <laughs> you can raise your hand now. Let's talk, let's talk. Raise your hand. Don't let me be the only one. If nobody is raising hand, it's new. Raise your hand. You second, don't second, though. Don't second, though. Is there a certificate of completion? Yes, you are going to get com you are going to get certificate for the um for the program at the end of the program. So let me take Ewo something. It's just fifteen thousand naira. So Ewo ordinary family, please unmute. Please unmute. So you can unmute. You can talk now. Hello, sir. Good evening, boss. Hello, good evening. How is family, sir? Fine, sir. Uh, I I thank so much for all what you have done this night. And I really appreciate your your knowledge that you passed through this. Please, we want to please, please. Mm. Thank you. Please, sir. Please, sir. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> thank you, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Ah. Ah. No, I can't please, do that. Please, so I, can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay. The, uh, the, the, the I have it. The I have it. Who is the eye? <laughs> who is the eye? Um, they are coming. Look, 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 look everybody. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. No, no, no. That is the best. Okay. You know what? You know okay, what? Okay, sir. You know what? Yes, sir. So, because we, you did not prepare for this, what I'm going to do yes, for you is, if you have 10K, you can deposit and balance up later. That's ah. what I can do for you. So you can deposit take it. Since it's a 12 weeks program, by next month, you can yes. balance up the remaining 5K. You understand? Okay, okay. But if you have the old okay, 15K, so have... you can pay. But if you are Nigerian, you can pay. Okay, let's do it like this. You can pay 50%. Uh, please, because of it, no. What do you mean? I'm doing it because of it, no. Because of it, no. You can pay 50%. You can pay 50%. You can pay 50%. You can pay 50% tonight. <laughs> you can pay fifty cents give... tonight and balance. I will give you to know. I'll take to know, take to know. It's too, too like about us. It's like about us. <laughs> you can pay fifty percent tonight and balance up. So, um, if you are in Ghana, you can pay fifty percent and balance up next month. You can pay fifty percent and balance up. So, thank you very much. Let me take success team. Let me take success team. Success team. It's a new. You are laughing. Look at your people. Eh? Because of it, you know, what if you miss the live section? What if we miss the live section? So if you miss the live class, there, we, there is always a recorded video. There is always a recorded video at the end of the class. So you will always get access to the recorded video. And you also have access to the LMS. You also have access to the LMS. Do you get? So success team, you can talk now. It's you new. Know, let me okay, hear your good. voice. So raise your hand. Good evening, success good evening. team. Good evening, sir. Good evening, boss. Yeah, my name is Ferdinand. It's my Zoom team that is success team. Uh, my question is, yeah, my question is, um, what if if someone can not be able to have the money now and budget to get by next month, will the person be part of the people that paid today or next tomorrow? That's what I said. You can deposit now and balance. 50, um, you can pay 50% now and balance 50% by next month. You get okay. So um, you can make a deposit now I'm, and balance up. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I think you said the training would be uh, twice in a week. Yes, every Friday and Saturday. Okay. Yeah, it's PM, not AM. 8 30 PM Nigerian time, 7 30 Ghanaian time, and I think it's 10 30. PM uh, Kenya time. Do you get all uh, right? So it's for the we are not taking a whole lot of people. We are just taking 50 people. 
just 50 people starting this Friday. This Friday, the class is starting this Friday. All right, Itunu is raising hands. Ah, let Itunu please give me a minute. My name is Itunu Itun Itunu. So I'm pay says who you can deposit 50% and balance up later. Let me take Aduko Amia, then I'll take Itunu. Yeah, you can pay 50%. Aduko, my baby is waiting. No, if you did not talk, I'll take my babe now. Okay, good, good evening. Good evening, boss. And thank you very much for the insightful presentation. You're welcome, sir. Uh, I'm speaking from Ghana. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I think some along the line, my question was answered, but I just wanted it to be clear. Because uh, some of us, the Saturdays wouldn't have been okay for us. For me in particular, Saturdays happens to be, and the time it is coming, happens to be my busy schedule. No, but, it's uh, PM, not uh, AM. Yes, PM, yes, PM. All right. Uh -huh. So, but in your pre in answering one of the questions, you said there will be a recorded yeah. uh, class if, if one you, misses. Yeah, if you miss the class, there will be a recorded class. Oh, okay. So I think that was just my challenge. All right, all right. Uh, so since uh, there will be recorded videos, yeah. and if, if, if I get you right, you mentioned that you need only 50 people for Not a class. the very first 50 people. Okay. The first 50 people, or you can take more than 50 people? We can take more than, but other people will not get access to the bonus. Oh, okay. Uh, so the first 50 people will get the bonus? Yes, please. And it starts from when? This Friday. I mean, the counting of the 50 people starts when? Now. Now. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Ah, my baby, finally, finally, finally. It's you know, you can unmute too. She don't they do Shakara now. Why are you doing Shakara? Unmute, please. Your Royal Highness, please unmute. You see, she's not talking. It's new. Hey, hey she did not talk. Oh. Daminola, wait. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Let my baby talk. It's new. Good evening, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. How are you doing? Hey, sir. I really enjoy your class. Thank you very much, my baby girl. Okay, sir. The thing is, after the class, are we going to collect the certificate? Sure, 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 sure. You are going to get the certificate after the class. Okay, and can the class just be on Saturday and Sunday, sir? Please. No, it's, it's Friday and Saturday. It's Friday oh, and Saturday. You get okay, it's sir. Right. Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. They said you are blushing. Are you blushing? No, tell them you are not blushing. Are you blushing? I'm not blushing. No, I'm <laughs> not shy. I'm not blushing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dari. Love you so much. We'll talk later. Right. We, uh, right, yeah, someone is taking it to new last meeting in WhatsApp group. Hey, I will arrest this man, oh, Mr. Najim. I will arrest you. Dami Lola, you do not don't meet anybody in question. In WhatsApp group, or come to my own DM. Damilola, please, you can talk. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Amy. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. Really, I really enjoyed it, actually. So my question is that, is there any opportunity for people that won't be able to meet up with the payment again? Like, if we are not able to meet up the payment now, maybe is there any other classes for this type of discount next time? Well, well, no, I'll tell well, you a DM yeah. on that. I will answer you in, on WhatsApp. All right, okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You can drop your payment proof in the group. You can drop your payment proof in the group. It's new, you are still raising your hand. Do you have any other question? It's new, do you have any other question? You can drop your payment proof in the group. All right, okay. Let me take Godwin. Godwin, please unmute. Godwin. Yeah. Uh, good evening. This is Godwin from Ghana, Accra. All right, sir. Okay, so I've just sent uh made a payment of 75 Ghana cities. All right. So I just wanted to know if I qualify for the bonus. <laughs> Drop it in the group. Uh, uh, my 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 our our admin will attend to you. 
Okay, okay. And uh, secondly, is it possible we can have a rebate, please? You can have what? A, re a, a rebate, a discount. Ah, a discount of... I've given you a whole discount. I've given you a whole lot of discount. Do you get okay. so the discount for uh, 50 percent and balance up later? All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let me take Omu Ono if I'm correct. Meshat. Meshak or Meshak. Yes, it is being pronounced as Meshak. Huh? Meshak, okay. Yes, good evening to everyone. I'm Meshak Omono from Kenya. Oh wow, that's nice. And I've really enjoyed the lessons. But um, we have uh, maybe two concerns. One, I don't know whether this discount also applies to us. It, it's to everybody. You can pay 50% also. 50% also? Yeah, you can pay 50%. Okay. And balance up next month. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, bye. No, 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 it's my, uh, don't let it come directly to my DM or, so that it's our admin that we send you a DM. So if you drop it in the group, our admin will send you a DM. Please don't send it. Uh, if you send it to my DM, how many people will like, the only person that I want to receive DM from now is it, you know, above other people, please drop it in the group. Don't be jealous of it, you know, please don't be. The next question is Sir Charles, Sir Charles. 50% is 7,500, but if you ask more for Nigerians, you can deposit. The same thing goes for Ghana. If you have more to pay, you can deposit. The same thing, if you have the full payment, you can make the full payment. But if you don't have up to the full payment, you can deposit 50%. Sir Charles, please go ahead. Sir Charles. Mr. Charles. Okay, maybe I'll come back to you. I'd not hear you. Mr. Ayodele, please unmute. Ayodele, please unmute. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, I also sir. Want to appreciate you for the good and um, wonderful presentation of this night. Thank you, sir. And uh, at the same time, uh, surrender it to you, it to, to you totally. Ah, thank to you. Don't worry, we are coming to prostrate very soon. Just send me your address on WhatsApp. We are coming to pursue it. We will bring two bags right. of yam and everything. All right, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, let's take um, Bozie Michael. Bozie Michael, please unmute. Okay, thank you so much for the presentation. Welcome, I'm Michael call, uh, in from Ghana. All right. Uh, uh, I want to find out if I can make my payment uh, in three uh, fourths. Send me a DM. First month 50, second month 50, third send, month 50. Send me a DM. Is, we are sent only two installments. We are sent only two installments. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear oh, me? Oh, my network is disturbing. Yeah, I said uh, we are sent only two installments. Can I make it in three fourths? We are sent only two Yeah, three installments. We accept two installments. We accept only two okay. installments, sir. All right, all right. Yeah. Ah, where is this lady now? This lady was raising her now. She, she ran away. Let me take a get narrow. Uh, a get a get <laughs> Is that correct? Did I get that correct? Yeah, that's correct, but the intonation is different. It's oh. general, that's, that's really, it's fine. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry All right, for that. thank you so me. much. This one is okay. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much for the brief um, overview of the whole data analysis process and visualization. Um, you have actually made me to have hunger and I just can't wait to start. But I just want to ask a um, few questions. All right. You know, I want to know during the course of the training, would there be um an opportunity for a practical section where uh we will have to do ours as well? And secondly, uh, would there be a form of like an assignment given to us so we can do ours like submit like a proper class? Yes. These are the two questions. 
Yes, please. It's, it's, it's a live class. It's a practical class. At, at the end of every class, you are going to be getting assignments. You are going to be getting classwork at the end of every class. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Before you even Somebody get the certificate, saying... you are going to get okay. three different projects. After Excel, you are going to get the project. After Power BI, you are going to get the project. And after SQL, you get the final project before you can finally get your certificate. Wow, thank you so much. Welcome, sir. All right, so uh, by the end of the training, don't worry, we will give it to you know, finally. You don't have to pay. It's by the end it. of the training. <laughs> Who does that? We will not do training thank again, you. though. Why will you give me by yeah. the end of the training? <laughs> I want to be you know, the training. Who does it that? It is business before pleasure now. You know the how the thing no, My now. own is to pleasure be... before business. We, do, we, 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 we put pleasure while we are doing business. That's how we work. Oh, uh, I know. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. So um, let me take, make I tell my mama first. All right. You don't need, I'm coming to take you straight. Don't worry. Uh, let me take Mr. Godwin. Mr. Godwin, uh, do you have any other question? Sorry, sir. Uh, that, that, that was a mistake. All right. No problem. Let me take um, Bismarck. Please unmute Bismarck. All right, sir. I must say um, I'm very grateful for um, doing some great um, temptation. Um, I must say God with him bless you. Thank you, And sir. also, um, I want to ask, I want to know um, um, how long this um, um, training is going to take? It's I mean, three months, um, 12 period. weeks class. 12 weeks class. 12 weeks, right? Yes, if that is three okay, months. Oh, okay. Do you get it now? All uh, right. Let me take Adela Ye Joyful. Please unmute. Adela Ye Joyful. Okay. First of all, I would like to tell you thank you for this brief overview of data analysis that you've given is very interesting. Like it just brings to mind everything I've learned before. Okay. And secondly, I also like to ask you that is it only Lagos? If you have uh, an office, don't you have in other states like so that we can? Because me, I like physical class. I like that physical class yeah, more than online it? class. Yeah, you look at it. Lagos, Ogba. Ah, uh, yeah, no far. Don't worry, we are coming to Ikeja very soon, but we have a branch, we have a branch in Lagos. But we are coming to Ikeja very soon. Okay, what about other states? For now, no. We do online. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That is all I want to ask. All right. Thank you, Joyful. Uh, let me take Sir Charles again. The Friday is too soon. That is why I said you should deposit. You can make a deposit. Sir Charles. I've been waiting for you since. You can be your you can be my manager at Abiyakuta. No problem. You have it. Once you have once we open our branch, we have a manager. I will discuss with my team member that we already have a branch manager at Abiyakuta. And I usually come to Abiyakuta every Friday, but don't worry. Very soon you will see me. You will see me. I'm coming to take you completely. Thank God we are not far from each other. Sir Charles. Hey, hello, sir. Good evening, boss. Good evening to you. How are you? Fine, sir. That's good. It's a pleasure being in your class. Thank God, sir. Yeah, I love the presentation and I'm eager to join the class uh, from Friday going forward. All right, sir. Yeah, then secondly, I wanted to ask two, two questions. All right. Uh, one, I wanted to confirm whether from the Kenyan side, oh, I didn't say where I am. I'm Charles Kiyoko. All right. From Kenya. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to inquire the Mpesa number is it the one that is better by in Cherono number zero seven two one eight seven three five six one? Yes, please. That's the account number. Okay. Oh, okay. So once I pay, I okay. remit the message to you to the you group. Drop, you drop it in the group. In the group. Yeah. Okay. The other question I wanted to inquire is uh, what, if, what will be the exact time, the Kenyan time it's 10, for learning? 10, 10, 30 for Kenya. 10 p.m. Yeah, 10, 10 30. 30. Yeah. 
but, but we are still working on the timing too. Yes. We will still work on the Then the class, sorry, the class will go on for how long? It's for 12 weeks. 12 weeks? Yes, please. Okay, then how many installments can one do? Two installments, sir. Two installments? Yes, please. Okay, so well, sir, that's all, sir. Thank you. Have a blessed. And you too, Mr. Najim, you that I'm coming to arrest, you want to talk? Hey, I talk. I'm coming to arrest. You said it's enough to meet you in there. Oh, Master, before what? Say that you did not say that again, no. Before, before. Good, good evening, boss. Good, good evening, no. Yes, boss. How are you? Thank I'm you very much for such a wonderful presentation. Um, at first, I judged the book by its cover. When oh, I saw the flyer, I felt this is going to be a kind of um, wish wash presentation. But by the time I thought the first two pages, I realized that this is even more wonderful than um, every other presentation that I've attended. And it has uh, actually improved, um, it has actually improved the level at which I have learned about analysis. And immediately I started sending to my friends that they should join, that this is one of the best moments I have spent my data on online. Thank so it you. was an interesting presentation. I, I really love it. I have never paid for an online presentation like this, but wow. I can tell you that um, I will pay for this. And um, I know that it should hit my um, uh, skills. I know how to use EV, I know how to use data, I know how to use SPSS, oh, wow. MOS, but um, it's been a very a long journey for me to learn about data analytics because every video I've been watching, they always hide some aspect of it that you will not even get to reach the dashboard aspect. Wow. But you have actually, you know, exposed us to this thing that make us want to learn more and to know more about it so that uh, it can be part of us and it should be a skill that we take with us as well. Wow. So that is that I want to give you a thumbs up for that, for doing a wonderful job. Thank you um, secondly, I want to say that I will see back to with you about it to know it's not as a very good device. Don't, don't try that. Don't try okay. that. Before the, the, the you know I've said thank you before. Don't let me check <laughs> my thank you again. The, 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 one third, the third one is um, okay. uh, the, the, the platform is a global village and uh, the, there is a particular name that you mentioned, Bankole Rukaya Topoyemi. The name sounded like my secondary school crush. I don't know, maybe the person is still online. <laughs> but, uh, you see, yes, so, you know, thank I you. That, I can meet the person. It was a long time ago, around the 2003, 2004. Oh, right. um, so, and uh, I can tell you that this is a wonderful one. There is no need for me to ask question. I believe that um, once this presentation is as good as this, the, um, I've predicted, like you have said in your presentation, I've predicted that the master class will be far more better and right. it will be more informative this one and you will not be disappointed so every question you might want to ask i think we have to reserve it to when we are doing the the master class no problem. so thank you i appreciate you you're welcome you're welcome thank you very much let me take mr uh engineer felix let me attend to engineer felix. engineer felix please unmute um uncle man that left now don't try it to know with me oh please Engineer Felix, oh, no. please you can talk. Good yeah, evening. Good sir. evening, sir. Good evening, boss. Thank you, sir. Sorry, am I my background is somewhat dark and my battery is almost gone off. All right, sir. I I've met my payment. Honestly, like my other colleague said, I have never paid for an online uh, wow. class. But wow. with this one, I'm convinced that I will learn a lot of things. By the special grace of God. So yes. And uh I don't know. You said all videos will be made available for in case you miss a class. Yes, you're going to get recorded immediately after the class. So if all you miss right. the class, there will be recorded for you. Same it's night okay, or the sir. next day. You are going to get access to it. It's okay. I've made a payment of 10,000 error. Oh, right. by next month. Before next month, even I can run up the number. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All uh, right. Let me take Mr. Taufik or Ladi Meji. Mr. Taufik. Mr. Taufik, you can unmute. Mr. Taufik, okay, let me take Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter, and I'll take uh, Mr. Peter. 
Okay, good evening. Good evening, boss. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm great, uh, and you? Okay, uh, I just want to ask this question. You said you can pay two times. Yes, please. Which is um, 7,005, 7,005, right? Yes, please. Now, if you pay that 7,000, are you going to get the bonuses you said about? Yeah, sure. You are going to get that history. All right. And uh, though your 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 presentation is wonderful, and I believe it will also be wonderful in the data analysis class. By the special grace of God. All right. Our best. I'm not the only lecturer you are going to meet. You are going to meet all the all my team members. You are going to meet them. You are going to meet most of my team members that are, that are trading data analysis. You are going to meet them. No, I'm not the only one. But I would like you to have a representative in Port Harcourt. We are working on that, sir. We're working on that. Okay. We are working on different platforms. You know, we, we, we in Port Harcourt, we love this uh, data <laughs> analysis very much. Don't worry. We'll come to Port Harcourt. So we'd like to have something like that. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. We are coming to Port Harcourt very soon. Lily. Lion Dilly. Sorry. It's the Lion Dilly. Hi, good evening. Oh, sorry, oh, madam. Sorry, it's good okay. evening. It's okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I'm speaking from Ghana. All right. Um, I want to know, are we going to get a, a course outline for every session? Yeah, so that I get the course outline immediately. Yeah, so that you me. know what you're going to do for a particular day. Yes, you're going to get the course outline. Okay, and, number and, two. All right. Yeah, go ahead, please. And uh, you are going to get the general course outline and we break it down into sections. So every single day, we'll cover from a particular place to a particular place. So you know that the next class, you are taking it from this place to this place. Okay. Yeah. Um, number two, just like others have said ahead of me, um, I have paid an online course on Power BI before All right. uh, with the university in Michigan and it was bomb. It was just not too good. It oh, was wow. like a recorded session that they have just downloaded and no, no, no. you can't ask questions and anything. Our but, own is a live class. Yes, I think I like this one. It's been a live class. Life so class. I would like you to know that probably we are all, even though some people have experience already, just start it from scratch so that we can yes. all pick it together. We are starting from the total basic introduction to Microsoft Excel. That's what we are starting with. All right. Yes. Thank you very much. You are welcome, ma'am. All right, all right. It's me. Are you still here? Oh, it's me. It's still here. Oh. Nice one. L okay, let me. Who else? Who else? Is there any other question before we call it today? Is there any other question before we call it a day? Okay, Miss Bismarck. It's you. Know, don't go anywhere. We are together. So we'll finish this class. Bismarck, please unmute. Yes. All right, I'm making a payment for other students. Go with me tomorrow. I add up the rest. No problem, no problem, no problem. Um, well, how how are you going to know that um, actually I've made a payment? You drop your payment proof in the group, please. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mr. Sam. Mr. Sam, please unmute. Uh, good evening. Good evening, boss. Uh, okay, I'm Sam. I'm from Kenya. I'm Akim from Nigeria. Uh, I wanted to ask, um, if I pay this 2000 will it cater for the whole training or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, uh, it's for, or the it for, the whole, yes. or for the whole it's training. For the training. Including your certificate. Oh, uh, okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, this name, Christine. Okay, okay, Christine. Is this Christian? Yes, it is. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. I'm Christine from Kenya as well. I'm Akim from uh, Nigeria. Good to meet you. <laughs> Safe, yeah. uh, yes, I, I want to say that I've had a very good uh, interaction. I'm happy, just like the rest of my team. They said I should it not is... bite my tongue. Joyful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only wanted to ask, are we going to have like uh, weekly uh, assignments You're before going to be Friday, getting... Saturday? You are going to be getting assignments at the end of every Friday, at the end of every class. So the moment oh, you start your practical class, you'll be getting assignments. 
that we present now before the next class. Yeah, before the next class. You have to submit oh, before the nice. next class. Thank you. And I've heard you saying that uh, you have you'll uh, have branches in Ghana, in Nigeria. No, what no, about Kenya? No, 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 what about yet. Kenya? So that we can no. have physical classes. We are, com we are coming there. We are coming there. We are coming there. You come to Kenya? We are coming. We are coming. Ooh, we welcome, are... welcome, welcome. We are on our way. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, it's just Nigerian traffic that is holding us. Don't worry, very soon we'll be there. It's traffic. Now, the, the last question, the certificate right. that you will provide, uh, yeah. uh, will it be viable in our countries also? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Certificate? Yeah, you can use our certificate anyway. We have students from different parts of the world. Um, we have students in Canada, US, different parts of the world. I've even written a recommendation letter to someone in US that used our certificate to get a job. And I have a student that used our certificate to get two jobs. Wow, that is nice. Yes. Thank and you. She's not in Nigeria. She's even in Canada. Thank you very much. You're welcome, ma'am. Thank you too, Mr. Phillips. Good evening. Good evening, boss. Um, we truly enjoyed the class today. I hope all the other sessions are going to be like that. Um, I've made the payment and, and right. then I've made uh, payments leaving to the group. Uh, right. So we hope we get. We thank you for the presentation today. We're very thank grateful. You, thank you, sir. Thank you too. Thank you for attending. Thanks to the whole team for this opportunity. I will. I, I will tell them. I will say you are thanking them. They are also in this meeting. They can see, but I did not allow them to talk. Okay, Mister Godwin, please unmute. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, thank yeah, you once again. I I I want to know if uh you are making a recommendation for any Microsoft version that we will need or any kind of uh machine that will require that will you facilitate need to, you need to you need to install Microsoft Excel, but it's once you start practical class, um the instructor will also inform you further. You understand? You use Microsoft Excel. For me, I use Microsoft Office 365, but you can't get access to that. You have to pay for that one. So, but there's still okay. another version that you can use. So okay. you can use Microsoft Office 2021. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. But SQL, Power BI, they are open source. So I'm going to show you how to download and install it. That's not the problem. All right. Mr. Taufik. Mr. Taufik, um, you're welcome, joyful. But you know you don't have faith, yeah, joyful. You said I should not bite my tongue, joyful. Hmm? Good, e good evening. Good evening, boss. Yeah, you are welcome. But I've been to that analysis. I've been watching YouTube video here and there. In fact, the... Just a little minute later, I just attended with you because I was late to join the uh, Zoom. Oh, right. I really appreciate your efforts. But very, very wonderful. Thank but my question well. is that uh, in my account, I was left with 6,000 euros. I just transferred the money straight. I have to, because I am eager, I'm anxious to join the group. I've seen the kind of a better training for this kind right. of data analysis. Yeah, that yeah, is right. why. So yeah. I want to solicit. No so that you can problem. confirm my payment. I think my no payment problem. has not been confirmed. No problem. So be. I balance the rest. It will be. It will be. It will okay. Be. Then, apart from that, you are talking of uh, 365. What of Microsoft 2060? If someone won on his laptop, can he be able to yeah, work? Yeah, if you that? have 2060 on your laptop, you can still make use of it. But the thing okay. is, but the thing is, you don't have some formulas. You would have access to some formulas like X lookup, okay. unique, sequence, okay. all those okay. formulas you are not going to have access to. Yeah. That is why I recommend 2021. Yeah, another question I want to raise now before is the issue of this. Uh, you said you are going to give us link us with uh, our, we have a, a bona fide presentation uh, for job in LinkedIn. Yeah, so we, are very going to talk about, if... we are going to talk about how you can optimize your LinkedIn how to create your portfolio. We are going to talk about that. In fact, I think I will teach that this Friday, how to create a portfolio on GitHub and upload it. We are going to talk about it this Friday. 
Yeah, that's good. That Thank, you very much. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. And LinkedIn optimization Thanks. will be on Saturday. It's a new, you need, ah, 27 is not good though. You need a very good one. You need to uninstall 2007. 20, you, you need to get 2021, it's a new. Please, you need to get 2021. My baby, please, you have to get 2021. Christine, Christian. Please unmute. Christian. Before joyful, we said I'm. I want to bite my tongue now. Christian, are you there? I think you're raising your hand, Madam Christian. All right. Let me take Madam. I'm Lyon. sorry. I, I think All I right. think I didn't lower my hand. I'm sorry. I think All I right. didn't lower my. No problem. Be laughing, joyful. You, Abby. Um, Lion Dilly. Yeah. Hi. I want to ask again that. Um... Are we going to have any software download on our laptop or you something? Need, you, need, you need to install Microsoft Excel. But Power BI and SQL, I'm going to talk, we are going to teach you how to download and install it. The only software you need to have installed on your laptop is only Microsoft Excel. Okay, the Microsoft Excel that I already have is okay, right? Which one do you have? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, let me, show, you, let, let, me show, let me show you. System. Let me show you how to how to check it. So if you have, if you open your Microsoft Excel, you click on yeah. file. So if you click on file, you come to account. account so you can okay. see my own is Office 365. So you are going to see the version you are using right here. So my own is Office. Is it? Where it has activated activation record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. So it is Microsoft Professional Plus 2016. 2016. You can still start with that, but I'll advise if you can get 2021. Okay, so that's an old version, right? Yeah, it's an old version because if, if, if let me show you something. If you type in equals to something, let me zoom in so that you can see. If you go to this place and type in equals to X lookup now. You see that I have X lookup on my own. Yeah. But you won't have it on your own. Let me check. Just type it. It's not going to S be S scoop, right? X look. Just type X L. X okay. Equals to X lookup, right? Yes. Just type X. I have it. You have X lookup. Yes. So that is not twenty twenty. That is not twenty sixteen. There. Twenty sixteen does not have X lookup. I have X I R X I R R X lookup X match X N P V X O R. All right. All right. What about unique? If you type in unique like this, equals to unique. If I type in unique, equals, equals to, unique. to unique. Okay. Let me see. Equals to unique. Um. Sorry. Equals to unique. Um, the unique is UNIQE, right? Yes. Yeah, it's there. All right. Uh, that, that's unique, nice. Unique child, unique yeah. code, unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You can, yeah, you can make use of it there. If you have all those formula, that means you'll have sequence and um text splits. You can you can make use of that. You can make use of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. What well, about 2019? You can make use of it. I hope we can. I won't advise you to use Google Sheets. I won't advise you to use Google Sheets. Um, Excel will be better than um, Google Sheets. Uh, right. Uh, right. Um, is there any other question from uh, you? Joyful, you that said I want to bite my tongue. I don't forget things. You, now you're asking me a question. If I blow you, eh? if I blow you, you forget your name. Is there any question? Can I use Samsung uh, tablets? Well, I don't know if you can, but um, if you have if you have um if you have Excel installed on it and you get you have a keyboard, you can make use of it. No vex. Uh, I don't vex already now. We don't vex. Okay, we have um. I'll take one more person. Just one more person. Um, Iwo. You were on my family. Please unmute. Sir, good evening, sir. Good evening, boss. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Welcome back, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Hello. Ah, problem. 
I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello, I can sir. Hear you. I can hear you, sir. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello, sir. Ah. Hey. Can you guys hear me? Hello, good evening, sir. Hey, I have paid. All right. I made the payment and they are sending like I already filled the form. All so right. where is the next stage? Don't worry. Once you fill the form, you'll be added to the paid group. Then you will get Hello? um. Hey. Mr. Oh, no, my family. Can you can hear, hear me, me sir? Can mm -hmm. you also hear me? Yes. I said right. I make my um yes, I, I made my payment and they sent me a link. All right. Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So they've sent you the registration form, right? You fill the form, fine. Don't worry, you'll be added to be to the paid group. Once you are added to the paid group. Um, they will send you access to the elements on your email. So be expecting this. Once you add to the paid group, you get the information that you've been sent access to your, the access has been sent to your email. So you can start going through the recorded video on your mail. But the live class starts on Friday, this Friday. I'll be in class on Friday. All right, all right, all right. So Damilola, thank you very much. Thank you all for showing up. We have 50 people here. Okay, let me do it like this. For anybody that can make payment tonight, if you can make 50% payment tonight or all your payments tonight, you are going to get access. So let me open the ground. Everybody that can make payment tonight, if you can make your payment tonight, then you're going to get access. Idunu, Itunu, we will talk in our um on WhatsApp. Don't worry. We have another discussion. I'll be coming to Abekuta very soon. I want to relocate because of you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for showing up. It has been a very, very wonderful journey from the beginning till the end. And we actually don't know that we've actually spent two hours today. It's you new. Know, why are you laughing? You don't believe in me, right? That's nice. That's nice. Be laughing. It's when you see me at your doorstep before you know. You see, the, the all of Digital World team will come. We wear Digital World Polo. We'll come and pick you up. All right, so um, it's been a. We should bring food and gifts. That one is a small thing. Don't worry. Do you want a laptop? We bring laptop. That is the gift. Um, all right. Um, uh, it's actually been a very very long journey today. Thank you very much for showing up. I believe you've learned one or two things in today's class. Feel free to send me a DM. This is my number right here. You can send me a DM, and I am part of the admin also. In the WhatsApp group, I use this picture as my DP. This picture you, you're seeing on my desktop now is what I use as my DP. Feel free to send me a DM on WhatsApp. If you have any question at all, any question, you can give me a call if you have any issue, any issue on Excel, Power BI, SQL, Python. If you have any issue, feel free to give me a call or send me a DM on WhatsApp. If you send me a DM and I don't respond because I'm always in class, right? Feel free to give me a call. If you call me, let's say it's my PA that picked it or it's my it's our secretary that picked it, I'm going to call you back after my class because I'm always in class, right? I'm always in class. So thank you all for showing up. Um, I really, really appreciate all of you. And I uh, want you this opportunity to say, enjoy the rest of your night and um, have a wonderful night rest. You can still make your payments and let's meet again in class on Friday. Um, thank you very much and have a wonderful ah Damilola, you are my PA. You are you have the same name. Her name is also Damilola. Thank God her name is not Itunu. Itunu is not my PA. She's the love of my life. <laughs> Let me go and sleep. Bye. And enjoy the how do we get certificate? The certificate will be sent to your DM. The certificate will be sent to your DM. Damilola, why are you blushing? Why are you uh -huh. she's my PA? Not it means the love of my life. All right. <laughs> Good night, guys. Uh, we are going to meet again um, on Friday by the special grace of God and have a wonderful night race. Bye.